I don't have that today. The other thing I've been getting from uh, citizen, citizens is complaints or statements relative to equity. You know, this is the occasional uh, complaint you guys probably hear as well is why should why should uh, non-parents have to be paying school tax at all? And I try to explain them because it's my point of view. You can just tell me if I'm right or wrong. That this argument was actually brought out in around circa 1800 when we created the public school systems in this nation. And the essential argument was that uh, everyone benefits when all children are educated because that is the only way you can produce good citizens. <coughs> Without a good citizen, our society will collapse. Our <coughs> democracy cannot be supported. Is that, in fact, true? Absolutely. Education is about public good. And it's as important as the other infrastructure that we have in a community in order to survive as citizens. And education is just a component of that. So you're absolutely right. So for the non-parents, they need to be aware that they are deriving a benefit by having an educated society. And, uh, and if they're not seeing an educated society, then they're not getting a benefit. We hear from, uh, we hear from the business world, uh, uh, business industry association, about the fact that there are jobs uh, around the Hanover area right now in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. we, they can't fill those jobs because the students and youngsters in New Hampshire don't have that skill set. <coughs> so we, we continue to uh, recognize and want to respond to that but without the the community and the public feeling that education is for all then that that becomes less of a reality because you can't meet those needs unless you are providing that education uh, I Nate quote his dad I'll quote my dad and uh, he said I paid for my five kids and somebody else is going to pay you know uh, I'm going to continue to pay and his kids are gone so I think it's just uh, one of those things in in this country uh, in democracy that we are um, we take on as a village and we as a village the Hampton village we we educate all of our kids so I, I suspect however that that discussion and debate will continue for many many years to come which which of course raises the question because if that's true, then our citizens should be sufficiently educated to know that already, and the discussion shouldn't take place, which then raises the question whether we're in fact educating properly. Tim? So I'll just make that up. Good point. Moving on. The, the, uh, Do you have another question about money issues? Yes. Not philosophy. Yes, I'm just trying to represent some citizens who have been asking on these points. The. Uh, um, finally, mm -hmm. just a couple of things. Um, Tim, to those who keep continually asking us questions about why do they have to pay for schools that they don't have anybody in anymore, the answer to that one is somebody paid for us to go and it's payback time. Well, I have the answer, Madam Chair, and I offered it to the superintendent because I wanted confirmation on the historical facts of the matter, and I believe she did confirm them. An excellent job at that. I'm crude at how I'm putting it. You were both <coughs> more eloquent than I am. but. It's, it's kind of a simple theory. 